next we will learn about the prashastis and the land grants the prashastis which were written at this time were generally not true they were in fact written as to get the king depicted in the manner as he wanted strong or it could be a warrior or it could be powerful whichever way he wanted to depict himself that's the way the prashasti was written by the brahmin so the brahmins who wrote this generally recorded it on the plates and to give them a reward it was generally in the form of a land grant so those brahmins who wrote prashastis in favor of the king in praise of the king received land grants as rewards but one prashasti that we have come across of this time is different from other prashastis and that is written by kalhan who has written a long poem of the history of the kings of kashmir and he is surprisingly critical of the policies adopted by the kings of kashmir so that's the difference between the prashasti written by kalhan and of the other prashastis he has not written in favor in praise of the kings now next topic that we have to study is warfare for wealth now to increase the wealth to increase the area under their domain the kings generally kept fighting with each other and one such example is of the history of the city of kannauj kannauj was a very fertile city and thus the three kingdoms the gurjara pratiharas the rashtrakutas and the palas kept on fighting with each other for the city of kannauj for centuries they took the kannauj city turn by turn and since three parties were involved in this long struggle it is called as the three party struggle the kings when they wanted to depict themselves as powerful wealthy they started building huge splendid temples and thus those who wanted to plunder the wealth of india they used to generally come and plunder the temples of india and one such example of is of mahmud of ghazni who raided invaded india from 997 to 1030 many times and he plundered the famous somnath temple and it was his motto to take away the splendor the wealth of india and to beautify the city of ghazni well he was also interested in knowing about the people of india and that is why he had interested this work he had given this work to him to one of the writer named al baruni who wrote a book named kitabul hind so this is how they were either raiding the temples or fighting with each other to get more prosperous and to have more area under their control 